evening, the fate of Luke Sweetser hangs in the balance tonight. Accused of murdering Tom Niblo back in 2016, and the jury is still out nearly seven hours later. A high-profile trial, no doubt. And K-Texas anchor Will Jensen has been covering this trial from the beginning of testimony and joins us live with the latest. Hi, Will. Hi, Farah. Yeah, that jury started deliberating around 3 o'clock this afternoon. They took a short pizza dinner break around 6.30, so they've been deliberating, like you said, about seven hours at this point. This was day six of testimony in the trial. The prose prosecution rested uh, this morning, and then the defense rested without calling a single witness. After lunch, the judge read the court's charge or instructions for the jury, and then the prosecution started closing arguments, saying this was a very personal killing, was not a burglary, not a robbery. The intruders' only objective here was to kill Tom Niblo. They said Luke Sweetser had access to a key to the Niblo's home and a motive here, saying Sweetser hated Tom after fights related to Tom being given control of his late father's estate and the family business instead of it being split between Tom and his sister. That's also Sweetser's ex-wife, Eloise, his wife at the time. Prosecutors say the intruder would have killed Tom's wife, Cheryl, too, but she was in the bathroom at the time uh, of that shooting. It took place in their bedroom, and she was able to lock that bathroom door and escape and call 911. They said the killer shot Tom while he was asleep eight times and was only three to four feet away when he made the headshots. Prosecutors said evidence proved the murder weapon was found in Elm Creek near the murder scene and that that gun did belong to Luke Sweetser, according to records. But the defense said there was no physical evidence found at the crime scene. There was no DNA, no fingerprints, no eyewitnesses here. And so if Sweetser is found guilty, a jury will end up sentencing. He made that choice. He's facing up to life in prison, Farah. Well, you can never read into a jury's mind, but from all you saw during this trial, why do we think they're still deliberating? Well, there's a whole lot of evidence. Uh, there were so many witnesses that the prosecution called. So it appears the jury is really pouring over all of that. Uh, you know, day six of testimony, the prosecution called, and so a whole lot for them to consider. And we've also learned that the jury's come back twice with questions, asking questions about various testimony throughout the, the trial. So it appears they're taking this very seriously, uh, trying to make sure that they make the right decision on this one. Farah. All right, well, we appreciate all of your updates. Thank you. For the latest information on this trial, download the K-Texas News app and follow us on social media.